All right, we are live for our three o'clock live stream for Thursday. Um, I am gonna throw a little comment in here as per usual, just so I can see your comments coming through. And we will not waste too much time dilly-dallying here on the front end. Um, I do wanna say hello, my name is Kyle. I'm a park interpretive specialist with California State Parks. And today I'm out at Fort Humboldt State Historic Park. This is in Eureka, California. Um, just about smack dab in the middle of the city. Um, today we're not going to be really talking about the fort though. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about representation. Um, this week is Latino Conservation Week, talking all about Latinx people and um, their role in the conservation movement, um, being outdoors and representation in the parks, all incredibly important things. And this week it's a nine day event um, to highlight all of these kinds of things. So I'm going to keep today's live stream exceptionally short because there is so much wonderful content going on from um, Latinx conservation groups this whole week. Um, we're doing our live streams every day at three o'clock. We do that every week. Uh, I wanna provide an opportunity for you guys to go check out um, maybe some content that you wouldn't normally watch. So I'm gonna give you some resources to maybe check out and give you some ideas of maybe some places to go. Um, find some content that maybe you're not used to watching or maybe just uh, uh, diversify your Facebook feed a little bit. So um, I just wanna say, I just wanna start out by saying that um, it is Latino Conservation Week. It is a nine-day event that started on Saturday. It's going through next Sunday. Uh, I believe that's the 26th. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing some comments coming in. I'm glad to have people with us. Uh, Robin noting that I've been on two days in a row. Uh, yes, hopefully you're not getting tired of my face. Um, and that's part of the reason I'm keeping today relatively short. Um, just want to give you guys an opportunity to see something else besides my mug. Um, so this week is Latino Conservation Week. It's spectacular. Um, there's been so much great content coming out from Latino Outdoors, a really, really popular conservation group, outdoor movement um, for Latinx people. Um, they have live events every single day. I believe they have a live stream going on right now. There is tons of great content on their page. So if you guys don't already follow them, I really encourage you to um, check out their stuff. We've been sharing their videos all week. Um, they've done um, you know, walks through many of our parks and other Redwood parks. and. Um, did a spectacular job with the interpretation. So if you're looking for some more interpretive programs, they have that as well. They're spectacular, go check them out. So a little bit of history, um, I just kind of learned this on Latino Conservation Week. This is actually started back in 2014 by the Hispanic Access Foundation. And let me grab my little notes here. I can tell you their, their goals for starting this event. So they basically had um, four main goals when they started this event back in 2014 is to provide um, local recreational opportunities for people of Latinx heritage um, to demonstrate the commitment to conservation of Latinx conservation groups, to partner and support, um, partner with other Latinx and other conservation groups to support conservation legislation or issues going through, so kind of a united front in that respect, and to um, inform policy um, by basically broadcasting the needs of Latinx communities. So um, I just think these are all really important and, and it's it's so spectacular there's a week dedicated to this, but it doesn't necessarily stop just around this week. It's so important to increase access and representation um, within our parks. And I think that that's at the heart of a lot of what um, this kind of diversity work is going into is to provide representation at every level. So I wanted to pose that question out um, kind of to you guys that what does representation mean to you? What does it look like to you when you, um, how, do you how do you feel represented in parks or maybe um, levels of government? Um, what does representation look like to you when you see something, you know, ah, that's representation. Um, and I would also be really interested um, if any of you have had an experience in a park where you didn't necessarily feel welcome. Um, if you came to a park space and you felt like it was somewhere that you were not welcome or that you were not supposed to be, um, please let us know about that experience because we'd love to try and um, stop those things from happening. We want everyone to feel welcome in these places. These, um, you know, these parks are for everyone, for all of the people. These are parks owned by the people. Um, so it's really important that you feel welcome in your own places. Uh, we really want to um, do what we can to, you know, to, to help you feel welcome and to, and to make this place the best it can be for you because these parks are really for the public. Uh, I'm going to go through and just see if we have any questions. Um, again, I just wanted to keep today really short and I'll provide a couple more resources before we wrap up. I just wanted to check. Got lots of hellos. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you all. Excellent. 
And I have a question from Robin says, what percentage of interpreters are Latinx? Are there lots? Um, it's a great question, Robin. I don't really have a solid answer for you. Um, I know that this is something that's increasing, um, that more and more we are moving towards what some people have dubbed a minority majority, that essentially the um, Euro-Americans or white people are becoming a minority, um, and that um, people of Latinx descent are becoming one of the largest um, groups of people in the United States. Um, reason that I'm prefacing this is that in Humboldt County, we are still not an exceptionally diverse area, that it is predominantly still white people um, or Euro-American people living up here. And so reflected in our staffing is frequently the, the population that we have up here. Um, I will say that we have our interpreter, Erica, who's down in Humboldt Redwoods. Um, you guys who are tuning in to our regular three o'clock live streams have seen a couple of programs from her. Um, she's of Latinx heritage, has done some incredible work for our district, and um, is a really important voice in the work that we're going, um, going forward to try and kind of increase diversity and make people feel welcome in these places, or help people to feel welcome in these places, if you will. Um, so I wanted to give her a special shout out and really appreciate all of the work that she's doing. It's really exceptionally important. Um, there is also for the national parks, I believe they just got their very first director who is of Latin descent, so, or Latinx, um, and I thought that that was incredibly interesting, a really big deal, and they're playing a fairly big part in this Latino Conservation Week as well. Um, so check out some of the materials coming out from national parks. Got some great stuff. All right, I love this. We've got some um, ideas about representation coming in. Representation means seeing folks in the parks are like you, being welcomed to the parks by everyone. I think that's incredibly important and very well said, Kim. Just that, um, you know, seeing seeing people who look like you makes it so you can see yourself in that place. Um, so it's it's really important um, to me that people feel represented and they don't feel that there's any part of life, part of the world, or um, something that, that that there's no chance of them accessing. I believe that anybody can do anything. Um, it takes it sometimes it takes a lot of work, but I I think that the opportunities. Um, that exists for one person should exist for everyone else. So really appreciate that. Sandra says, these are my visits to parks, probably to forget there. So videos are welcoming to me. Awesome. We appreciate that, Sandra. And um, we'll be getting you um, some more walks out in the parks too and some more talking about the natural features as well. Just really wanted to talk a little bit about the culture. Aha! Lorena has asked, what is Latinx? Um, so Latino, Latina has been previously a word, uh, people referring to people of Latin or Hispanic heritage. Um, Latina is a feminized version of the, of the word and Latino is a masculinized version of the word. And that's just part of the way that Spanish um, works, that words are either masculine or feminine. So Latinx is a way to refer to people without necessarily forcing them into a box of being masculine or feminine. It's just an idea of having an inclusive term that refers to all people who are of this heritage rather than saying men or women or prescribing a masculine or feminine word to it. So that was a great question, Lorena. Thank you very much. And Kim, thank you for pulling a quote from the internet. We always appreciate you guys providing the resources. That's spectacular. Kim's been posting a ton of links since I've been talking. I myself am gonna go check all of those out, um, but definitely check those out. And um, I'm sure that she's been providing some great resources. So I just wanted to rattle off really quick these three organizations that have been putting out great stuff all week. I really encourage you guys to go check them out. Um, Latina Outdoors, number one, for, is spectacular. They have tons of great stuff coming out this week. And they have remote groups um, just about everywhere. They have a Humboldt group, they have a Los Angeles group. So please, um, get involved with your local um, denomination of Latino Outdoors. I'm sure that there's one around you and I'm positive that they're doing amazing work. So please check them out and give them your support. Um, Green Latino, another huge organization doing some spectacular work. And then Hispanic Access Foundation, again, the one that um, started Latino Conservation Week back in 2014, um, also has a lot of great stuff perpetually coming out. And there's an entire website dedicated to this. So if you just wanna get a nice um, brief, quick look at everything, go to latinoconservationweek.com. All kinds of great information on there and a lot more resources to check out. So thank you guys all so much for tuning in and listening. Just wanted to do a quick talk about what this week is all about. So we've been talking about it, but never really said what it was. So um, that's what it is. Check out some stuff. There's all kinds of great information going on. Thank you guys all again so much for joining us. We've got our three o'clock live streams happening every single day. Thank you guys so much for doing your part to help flatten the curve of COVID-19 as well. We're doing what we can out here, sanitizing equipment, staying six feet away from everybody. Got a mask in my pocket just in case. You guys are also awesome and hopefully, oh, 
later this week. Ah, we still are not done with all of our Latino Conservation Week stuff. Um, tomorrow we have a spectacular interview with one of the outings leaders of Latino Outdoors. This is an interview that Erica conducted. So we'll be having that live tomorrow, an interview with one of the outings leaders of Latino Outdoors. And then Saturday we will be continuing our Leave No Trace um, live stream series. So Erica's doing those programs and she's doing them twice. Can you imagine the energy to do two programs right in a row? And she is doing it in English and in Spanish. So pretty spectacular bilingual program that is available in different languages. So please check out both those things happening on the rest of the weeks. And then Skip will be back on Sunday with some more great um, Yurok interpretation. So lots of great content the rest of this week. We will see you every day at 3 o'clock. Thanks so much for being here. Check out some resources. That's Kim's posted. Check out those organizations and go to latinoconservationweek.com to learn more. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time.